Hello, kids! I'm Captain AHS. Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of heating and cooling. In this video, we'll explore how temperature changes can transform solids into liquids, liquids into gases, and even reverse the process. Why the ice is melting so fast? Ice is a solid. When we heat it, something magical happens. Look! The ice is turning into water. Exactly. When we add heat, the ice absorbs energy, and its particles start moving faster. That's called melting. So heating turns a solid into a liquid? Yes, Mina, you got it. What will happen if we cool down these ice cubes again by placing them in fridge? If we cool down these ice cubes by placing them in fridge or by any other means, then they will again change back into ice. Cooling removes energy, slowing down the particles, so the liquid state of water changes back into solid state. Mama, can you please tell us what happens when we heat water? Let's see. Watch as the water starts bubbling. That's boiling. And there's steam coming out. Yes. When water gets enough heat, it turns into steam, a gas. That's called evaporation. So heating turns a liquid into a gas? You got it. And if we cool the steam, it'll turn back into water. That's called condensation. Wow! That's great! I can't believe water can change its state in such a fantastic way! So, detectives, what did you learn today? Heating turns solids into liquids and liquids into gases! And cooling does the opposite, it turns gases into liquids and liquids into solids! Perfect! Now, let me tell you one more thing about hot chocolate and cold ice cream. If we freeze the hot chocolate which is in liquid form, it changes its state and becomes solid. Similarly, if we heat the ice cream too much, it melts into liquid. Heating and cooling are everywhere. Science is delicious! And now, the magic of heating and cooling is no longer a mystery! Now it's the time for quiz. Are you ready for a fun quiz to test what you've learned about heating and cooling? Let's see if you've got what it takes. It's quiz time. What happens to ice when it is heated? A. It becomes steam. B. It turns into water. C. It stays the same. The correct answer is B, it turns into water. Ice melts into water when heated. What is the process of turning water into ice called? A, melting. B, freezing. C, evaporation. The process of turning water into ice is called B, freezing. When the temperature drops, water molecules slow down and form solid ice. What is the process called when water turns into steam? A. Boiling. B. Freezing. C. Condensation. When water gets heated enough to form steam, it's called a boiling. 
That's when water changes from a liquid to a gas. What happens during evaporation? A, a solid turns into a liquid. B, a gas turns into a liquid. C, a liquid turns into a gas. The correct answer is C, a liquid turns into a gas. This happens when water gains energy and escapes into the air. What happens when steam is cooled? A. It turns into water. B. It turns into ice. C. It stays as gas. When steam cools down, it turns back into water. So the answer is A. It turns into water. This is called condensation. Next time, we'll uncover the fascinating changes caused by heating and cooling, how matter transforms in surprising ways when temperatures rise or fall. See you then. Don't miss out on more free, interactive lessons. Hit subscribe and join us on the journey to education without boundaries.